the previous video uh, doesn't have sound, so I have to re redo this live. So in today's live, I'm going to uh, have some updates about WhatsApp e-commerce feature, okay? So the first is, let me show you a quick demo of a WhatsApp e-commerce that is using Razorpay as a local checkout, local payment gateways, okay? So let me share my screens. And this is my bot, so I can go back to the bots. I will use the keywords to trigger the shop. And as you can, first, I want you to see when you click this view item, you can have multiple sections, okay? So if you have different categories of the product, you can show them very nicely over here, okay? So this is a new features we just bring yesterday. So now let me go to one of the product page. There are two buttons over here. You can add to cart, and as you can see, it will already add cart. Okay, you can change the quantities over here. You can even remove the product if you want, okay? Now, we add another trigger that is called product inquiry trigger, okay? So what will happen is if the user choose to message business, okay? If they send me something, um, what is the size, anything, okay? So, when you send, when they send this message, we actually have a product inquiry trigger that will figure out what the product the user is talking about and what the question they just type in so that you can send these inquiries to the notification, to yourself, or you can activate the live chat support, okay? So that is the, another update we have added. We added the product inquiry trigger. So now let's go back to the view items. Let me add another items over here, add to cart. So now I can go to the view of the cart and all this is in Indian Ruby currency, okay? We actually support multiple uh, currencies. So when you click send the cart, we will actually generate a Razor Pay checkout link for you, okay? So as you can see, now the order is already created at the back end of the system. So now let's go back to the dashboard. I will refresh this page. And as you can see, at the phone, the order ID is 1068. Okay, if you go to the orders, you will be able to see there is another is 10667. The status is ordered, okay? You can see it have three uh, three uh, uh, different products. And when you click, now we can click this Razor Pay checkout links to arrange the payment, okay? So now let me click this one. And I can click proceeds to pay. And I can type my email address type a card, skip saving card. I will use a demo card to payment and expiry date, add a expiry date, CVV numbers, and I click pay. I will receive a one-time notification. I will type my one-time notification over here. So now when you submit this one-time notification, your purchase will complete and this same order will mark as completed, okay? That means we already received the money and we will create this order mark as paid in our system. You can also obviously to set up the automation to send the email to yourself, send the notification to yourself, okay? So let me submit. You will see. Now, thank you, we receive your payment and you can receive immediately the, uh, the 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 flow you set up that congratulations your payment just completed we will send you the updates later okay and if you go to the uh, the page you refresh the same order the status will be updated if you go to the orders and this will be updated okay it will show completed so that is the whole checkout experience 
using not Stripe and PayPal. We already have a, a, a demo yesterday about Stripe and PayPal. And you can also integrate the third party payment gateways um, with, with our system, within our system. Okay. So I will have a, a course to teach you how to set up all these um all these things uh all these whatsapp e-commerce i think uh, maybe end of this week or the next week okay so if you want to get access that access uh get access to that course for free you can just comment whatsapp you chat in the comments below when the course is ready i will send you the access link okay so now let's get back to the updates uh we have done let's updates Okay, so the first is the the support with the other um, payment gateways. How we are doing that? So basically, we have actually a lot of uh, mini apps, so that you can install the mini apps. Let me see. I already uh, hide my mini apps, so I need to change that. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that over here. But what I'm saying is. If you build a, a, a local um, local payment gateways, as long as you can generate the payment checkout link, as long you you have the trigger, you know the payment is success. You can integrate that local payment gateways within the UChat. Okay, so the WooCommerce checkout experience will be very smooth, and it's very easy to do so. Okay. Currently, we have uh, Razorpay mini, mini apps. We have a couple of the other local payment gateways from Malaysia. And we are building uh, um, uh, a payment gateways with Brazil as well. So more local payment gateway support will be coming. And that's the first, um, let me see, that's the first, that's the first, okay, check out with mini apps integrations. Second is, what I showed you is we have a product inquiry trigger. So you can find that, go to the WhatsApp, and you can find that trigger in the automations. Okay, in the automations, in the triggers, you can see that is two triggers for WhatsApp. Okay, first is when they send the card. Uh, that is WhatsApp order, receive, order received. There is another trigger is WhatsApp product inquiries. And you can actually see what the product they are interested about. Okay, we will they will send the product retail ID, and they will send what the message the user typed. Okay, all these you can save into a variable. And the most important thing, we make it so easy. If you have the same SKU that is matching with the retail ID in the Facebook catalog it will automatically match that product for you, okay? So we will have, as I said, we will have more details trainings in the course we are launching. If you want to see how to make it work, comment WhatsApp, you chat in the comments below, okay? So um, let me see if I have any comments. I hope you guys can, okay, someone, I cannot see that. Okay, I can see the name now. So already comment. Okay, you will get the free access to the course when we when the when the course is ready. Okay. So another thing is, uh, we actually support you to have multiple sections when you send multiple product, multiple products. So what I mean by that is, if you go to your WhatsApp message, and we have a type is you can send multiple products, right? And in these multiple products we actually make it possible that you can have multiple sections, okay? So each section, you can have different products. So that is the, this what this update means, okay? You can build a, a, a long list of the menus you have, but remember, um, WhatsApp API, so, you know, have the limitations of maximum 30 products. So another is you can actually send the template message with checkout links. So um, in my demo, in my demo, I actually sent that as the links, right? And it is it is possible to send uh, the checkout links in the template message, okay? 
So because you can uh, this this as you can see this message is a template message. Okay, no, not this message. This one is a template message. So as you can see, the checkout link will be a button. Okay, and this button will link to external uh, URL. So I will also show you how to do that uh, in the course we are doing. And basically, uh, it's we have an action is we add two extra actions is called PayPal checkout and the Stripe checkout URL. You can find in the e-commerce. Uh, no, you can find it in the actions. And um, yeah, you just need to replace uh, replace the the domain part and use the dynamic populate value as a variable in the template message. Okay, so I will share the details about that later. And uh, let's get to the another updates. Another update is currently it is possible to integrate with our built-in get products action. Okay, what I mean by that is in the WhatsApp the the product catalog they are request to send the product ids okay they are request to send these product retail ids and this retail id if you that is the same with the sku in our e-commerce so let me show you what i have done in our e-commerce in our e-commerce every product i have put this SKU. Okay, this needs to be the same with the value in your product, uh, Facebook product catalog. So if you already have the SKU over here, and this is the same with your product catalog, what you can do, you can dynamically populate uh, the, the retail IDs. So let me just show you quickly. Okay. So let me edit the flow and let me create an action. And in this action, you can go to the e-commerce. Okay. You can choose the get products and you can edit this action. You can match, you can use the filters. For example, I have different product catalog, product type. I want to choose the snacks. So what we will do is it will search it will uh, search every product that have this product type, okay? And after that, we have the response is comma separate match SKUs. So basically this will, you can save this into a custom fields. And after that, you can use these custom fields in the multiple product section, okay? So you can click this one, you can delete everything over here, you can click this variable and choose that um, choose that uh, that variable we just saved. Okay, so basically that can uh, integrate with our built in e commerce. Okay, it's very easy for you to fill out the different products. So yeah, and uh, we I will also do this um, in our course so that you can know how to make it very easy to integrate with our e-commerce system. So that's for today's update. And we talk about the checkout with Razorpay and the more local payment gateways. And also we talk about the product inquiry trigger. And we talk about the multiple section support in, in the multiple product message. And also how you can integrate this with our built-in e-commerce, okay? So that's for today's live. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can comment below. I will reply those comments. See you guys in the next live. Bye.